Right, it's late at night, so I'm using the microphone. Let's continue our incredibly glorious um, campaign run with Thor. I mean, anyone who saw the Greek mythology um, segment would know that Thor was indispensable. Clearly the strongest goddess in the game, super amazing. Ability is so impactful. None of that's true. <laughs> uh, I haven't changed the deck yet. I kind of felt like maybe we should go just a little bit faster. But I also felt like we're in no rush. It doesn't seem like we need to make any like major changes to the deck. Just like small tweaks. So we can afford to go through Egyptian. See how it does. If we still get the opinion that you know it's just a little bit too slow. Then we can make like some sort of tweak then. Oh, what is it, 5 in the morning? Something like that, I don't know. I went for a walk to get some fresh air and I couldn't sleep. So I was just like, let's just roll with it, shall we? Oof. Oh, I picked up a few tips from my video, I think. Very nice. Yeah, the 30 as well. Oh. This could be awkward. Probably slightly the wrong spot, but I just... Whoa! Whoa, what is going on here? So we have to drop it and start again? Yeah. Wow, raw. nice play. Nice play, man. Oh, now she's dropping it. What's the point, then? Am I the only one that's kind of looking at that? Like, what on earth was that? <laughs> I like the obelisk though. But in general, you know, like, why would you get in my face and then just stop? Like, what's this obelisk? I don't know. That doesn't quite make sense to me. Like, I thought we were under threat there and she was just gonna use her, um, the sets to like start taking our stuff down but then she stopped what was the point then what is the point of doing anything in this life great um i feel like taish is a little bit of a waste i'm not sure we're really gonna like get what we need from this before things get out of hand but we do kind of need an armageddon just because we've got no way of handling Oh, actually, I'll take it back. Yeah, you can't do anything, can you? 6, 12, 24. Move over a 3. You don't have 24, I know that much. 10, 15. Do you have exact? You have 23. 5, 3, 13, 15, 20. You have 23. And you need 24 to take out my Scardy, yeah? <clears throat> Talking of my Scardi, what do I need? You know what, let's just take out this Sphinx statue. I think we can. Oh, I just love the stat line. I really do. Like, yeah, we should probably extract here then and just push down. Like, you're not getting away with this. You pushed into us, now it's our turn. Nope. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, wrong spot for me. We can't even get to it. Play a hater. Because here we go. Yes. Club. Gonna show you how. Shake your body from side to side. Oh, my apologies for the singing. <laughs> there is a reason for it. It's because I'm bored. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing four who is, you know, non-stop, non-excitement. No, I'm just, I think the deck is good and I'm enjoying the deck, I'm just not, you know, I'm just not up on 4, I just don't think, like, we're not winning because of 4, are we? Let's be honest here, like, this isn't a 4 win or something, 
We're winning, because I'm a beast. And we've played campaign mode now. The, you know, we've got some general idea of how to create like a nice little deck that's going to do things. Three times nine. Is that correct? Five, four, three. Yeah. Three times nine, twenty-seven. I wonder if Odin would have had Leaf all the time before. You'd have thought that Odin would have had some sort of lethal in that game. I suppose I should stop being so negative about um, 4, but that's just how I feel. That's my opinion. It hasn't really changed. I haven't really pointed to, you know, like a spot in time and gone, oh wow, like. Four was the difference here, like she managed to allow us to do this thing that normally we wouldn't be able to do. I do get like sometimes there might be like a very neat play where the fact you get two back um might allow you to just do like a little bit more, but you know, there are goddesses with like game changing abilities. She's really not one of them. <clears throat> I probably should have mulliganed her. Yeah, that's pretty fast. If we can get into Scardy, it's amazing, but I just don't see how we get into Scardy. Isn't this off though? Like we get 9, that puts us at 12, so it's slightly off. Yeah. And Isis is starting pretty fast as well. Yeah, do we want a mummy just to. <coughs> will it lock? Yeah, I mean, it will, won't it? But if we do that, don't we lose the Scardy? And we've now literally got a Scardy that's at 3. So that 6 would represent 2 attacks. So we probably keep it, right? Sorry if I'm being too quiet. It is, you know, 5 in the morning or something. What? I, what? <laughs> that's just brain dead, isn't it? Isn't that just stupid? Isn't that just the stupidest thing? Okay, there's no point then. <sighs> what? Am I missing something here? What sort of stupid thing is going on here? What the hell is happening? Oh, for goodness sake. Are we actually going to die here? No, because I'm not an imbecile. Isis just killed herself. I guess if we hadn't noticed that, then, you know, like, she could have gotten, like, a cheeky sea quake in or something. And killed us. But come on, like. That doesn't really rely on your deck or your power or your ability or your playing skill. That just reply that just relies on your opponent being an idiot and not paying attention. Oh, yeah, I guess it was perfectly tailored against me then. <clears throat> Since I have no intention of paying attention. I'm exaggerating in a way, like it's not, oh crap, I don't think, uh, the Armageddon is tempting, but this is just too slow, isn't it? Battle plan into what? There's nothing here. And we go second. Oh, battle plan, um, into extraction Armageddon. Yeah. It does look that way, doesn't it? Double extraction is why we didn't mulligan in the end. Just yeah, we had an opportunity to keep set down, we could take it, but otherwise I don't think set's really gonna be able to punish us in any way. I 
I do love that this deck is like so beautifully simplistic. Like, there's nothing complicated about this. It's very clear what we're trying to do. And it's very clear how it works. Oh, uh, Scarly does like require the extra effort though, which is a bit irritating. You know, like stuff like Sphinx or Ningyo are just vicious from the start, but Scotty needs just like a little bit of help. Nah, this is a mistake, isn't it? Apparently that was also a mistake. Tree. Tree for what though? Like, what is that even? Don't we want to get into her, stop her from accomplishing things? Four. Yeah. Right now it's just about kind of stopping the 20. She hasn't actually got um, the grave for the 20, but if you've got an opportunity to just kind of like sit on her, then normally you want to uh, do that. Because if Set gets the cycle going, she's very strong. It's just that she's not, in fact, very good at anything, <laughs> really. Okay. Thanks to uh, Four's ability, we can now put down a Taisha. That's changed everything, hasn't it? I will stop being so cynical eventually. Or maybe I won't, I don't know. Four to attack. Five times four is twenty. Um, this is, <coughs> this is too slow. Oh. We've got some fantastic raw starts going on, haven't we? Really nice. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. That Phoenix is definitely going to be an issue. And we don't have an easy answer for it. Yeah, we're going to like try and pop Kraken, but I'm not actually sure how this is going to work. Yeah, that's nice. So much for that, right? On the other hand, strictly speaking, she can't actually accomplish anything here. Yeah, we can still crack it, it's just we can't get to the Phoenix, so the Phoenix is going to pop. And things are going to get very, very awkward for us. But it should be our choice, I think. She can't move that mummy out of the way and allow the Phoenix to get to the Kraken. So it's our choice. Twelve, eighteen. Eighteen, we can do it. I just don't know if we want to do it. Because we don't have to. Do we? But, I mean, let's be honest here. The 
still 18. No matter how I see it, it's still 18. I guess this is kind of like allowing us to clear house. Yeah. Four is good into like chaff, and that was just like a field of chaff. So, in that respect, it was good. It might actually be into lethal next turn. Oh. Okay. I didn't do the maths on that one, did I? And we paid the price. So it's high show. How embarrassing for us. Then again, I mean, it more than made its money, didn't it? Yeah, I guess Four's ability did play a factor in this battle. We had a field of chaff, and we have said before, but, um, you know, Four does seem to be something of a counter to Mummy. And that's true. At the end of Greek mythology, I was kind of like, let's let's just like keep cracking on. But then, you know, I started watching TV. I was like, well, one of these things is a lot more enjoyable than the other. Now I'm playing. I really do enjoy the deck. Like genuinely, I think the deck is great, and I'm really having fun playing it. I just think four is very B tier, so. Oh, we know our win conditions, we know what we're trying to do. Things are going well, really. Yeah, I don't know what to change, like, I, I feel slightly slow. But we haven't really gotten anywhere near losing, so... I don't know what to make of that, to be honest. Into tree would be nice, yeah. Looks like we might have to go Taisha. Taisha Kraken, it looks like. We could just go Scardy, I guess. I don't know. Definitely don't think we need more of this. Okay, we're doing this for the Devotion Generation. Unfortunately, we haven't really managed to get our Kraken in there. But Are we ahead in the race? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like when there's this amount of devotion from both sides. You have an issue, right? Uh, 
And again. Nice. Wow, you must have started really bad. Really, really bad. I guess this was just a free win for us. We had lethal all along. I'm just too silly to see it. This deck is amazing. I think we literally have to take the same deck and play it with Odin. We have to seriously consider it. It's just so solid. I can only imagine what Odin could do with this. It's insanely good. What would I add for Odin? Probably just slightly lower cost, but I'd still be looking at, you know how cheap we can get things ah oh, this sucks time plan into Seagwake is that really like a decent I'm not sure yeah this doesn't feel great does it especially not after seeing that Egyptian statue but then again the Egyptian statue doesn't really give any advantage Okay. We'll have to see what Rod does because there's a lot of devotion on the table here. Yeah. That's okay though, isn't it? We don't mind that. I don't know, Ra invested a lot into attacking with a mummy and you know the attack cost for mummy is so high, there's no possible way that that was worth it. But it is tempting to see Quake now and then. Okay, Rise of the Pharaoh, try and push Kraken, I think. Although Seaquake is also very legit. Ra has suddenly, you know, given us a lot. Although she's also taken away a lot. Screw this chick. The Medusa kind of block Kraken, which is a shame. Oh, that's just stupid, man. Yeah, massive waste of money. Massive waste of money. You know, the game was largely over a while ago, but, you know, that move is just so puzzling. What is this about? Why do you keep doing that? Three times eight, twenty-four.
Okay, this isn't... If we go tree into Scardy, that's pretty good. She would have to start amazingly well. Yeah. Oh, I'm tempted to go tree, but with the soul extraction. And she's left four on the table. It means we have to go, like, battle plan into tree into Scardy. But... If he's going to leave for devotion on the table, you know, that's insane. Yeah, we kind of want to go battle plan into Scardy. But it just keeps, le like, leaving stuff on the table for us. And it is slowing her down, of course. So this is worth, I think. Yeah. I think it's just straight into Scardy, isn't it? We could go Tree Mummy, I suppose, but we have the Wink it, like we have everything on board that we need. Should have to kill us right now. No, that's a mistake. That is a mistake, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Just stupid. Why would you do that? Screwed yourself, man. Screwed yourself. But we have no way of getting. Ah, it's a little frustrating, though. Yeah, you know what? The tree isn't bad here. Pressure's immediately on. Like, she's going to have quite a bit of devotion, but you're going to have to, like, put in work, like, right now. You can't mess around. You've got to put in this work right now. Yeah, Scarly's back to full, so. You didn't put in this work, plain and simple. That's another tree. Thank you very much. It's just stupid. Isis is basically playing herself. Like, Iden Tree is just Isis's ability. Oh crap. I didn't actually realise, but we just messed up, didn't we? We had lethal. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, three times eight. We had lethal. I'm just very silly. Super embarrassed. Playing around soul extraction. I'm probably going to stop like saying that in future campaigns. It is clear that I'm playing around soul extraction. You know, just trying to use up a little bit of devotion. Gain... A little bit more advantage on the board. Which of course means I'm playing into like Sea Quake, Earthquake, stuff like that. Aren't we into the final match here? <laughs> no, there's two, isn't there? Anubis and then whoever we want. It hasn't even been half an hour though. This is legitimately the quickest. I think I've done any mythology. But you know, she's just got the pieces. Yeah, that's a shame though. So it's Taisha, throw mummy, Taisha second if we can't find what we need. Yeah. I guess we're going to have to let set build by doing that. Which I don't feel great about, of course. Yeah, we don't have the pieces here. I don't like this. And we probably don't need the tree, either. Kraken is such good value, it's hard to see past it. Like, <clears throat> On the other hand, the set is now at 15 per turn. So, this is concerning. Oh, see, going into the cycle, we got Osiris, okay. But she spent everything. 
That's a mistake, mate. I can tell you that for free. This is just additional devotion to turn in it really. Set can't really do anything about it. And we've at least managed to take it to twelve, which, you know, compared to what she was threatening to generate, it's nice. I think this Kraken's just gonna do it on its own. doesn't care does it just like yeah this is this is the life I lead hashtag Kraken life We have no, okay, so it's 35, that's not going to happen. Okay, let's just do it again. <coughs> Set is fine. Let's just do it again. Well, I don't know about any other mythologies, but um, apparently this deck is very strong into Egyptian mythology. battle plan into Taisha but this isn't a great start we should have probably like searched more aggressively for something to play hmm. okay that changes things battle plan into Scardi but I mean this leaves us off doesn't it 12, 15, I think. Oh my goodness though, this is worrying. Yeah, Set's feeling very confident. And why wouldn't he when the truth of the matter is we don't actually seem to be able to stop what's happening. Set 100% could bring this Osiris out. Not this turn, but you know. How? How on earth? Like, why? Why even have that spell? Just stupid. Oh, I hate when that happens. Why would Set have that spell? I mean, just... <sighs> I mean, really. He did. I mean, she did start very, very fast, but this is still just ridiculous. Like, come on. Okay, I need to find some way of surviving. There isn't a way. 5 times 6, 30. Okay, you don't have 30. Oh my god, you do have 30. Oh, that 
that's irritating though, isn't it? We're back to base, but Set's now loaded the graveyard, which is a definite concern. That's the soul extraction, though, isn't it? Do we really not have anything? Oh my goodness. We're getting outraced by Set here. This is very, very unfortunate for us. Maybe not for other people, but for us it's terrible. Scardy Scardy. Uh, I don't think that works for us. Yeah, we're in trouble here. But we've now got the soul extractions, so there is a path we can certainly navigate to get to what we need. We just need to find a way, don't we? Unfortunately for the set, I guess their value chain just disappeared, right? I can't seem to do anything. Is it even worth killing these mummies? I don't think it is. That's the thing, like, we need to pick up a couple pieces just to make it like a positive EV move to fight in the first place. Why is Skydy blushing? What is that about? What's she blushing for? Maybe I need to um, actually read into the mythology just a bit. I'm not sure why Skydy would be blushing. Just off. Yeah. Right, there you go, Egyptian mythology in under 40 minutes. We are the champions. I'll take it back a little bit. I mean, plausibility is useful. It's just not offering like any additional strategic or tactical options. It's not offering anything, you know. It's just nice. It's a nice ability. It's okay. It's hard to go crazy about it. It's... It gives you a bit of extra devotion when you destroy something. It's okay. Right, nice. There you go then. Turn to the menu. Yeah, we still won't. There doesn't seem to be a need to change anything. Like we're still winning. We're still, you know, crushing it. I feel pretty good going into Norse mythology. Let's just keep rolling, I guess.